So this is my Southeast Asian touring setup. Uh, we have the giant TCR. Don't do this with carbon bikes, put a rack on. Uh, a little Bluetooth speaker, Garmin 1000, a little toe poop bag, this zip's busted. We have a spare zip, I'm gonna try and get stitched in there. We also have just a Revel 8 Designs bag. Got some Outra shoes for just walking around. Got the Thule bags, they're pretty good, pretty waterproof. This rack system's pretty good. It's called the Pack and Pedal, so it fits on bikes that don't have rack mounts. But I wouldn't really recommend buying this rack because to get it off, you gotta undo the bolts. Like, it, it's meant to have a fast quick release, but it's, it's totally bogus. It worked for the first two days and it's sort of seized up. The, the stability rack's very good. The wide platform's very good, but I'd probably recommend the Axiom Roadrunner versus this setup. But this would be a good rack if you just want to set and forget. But this is a bike I use for you know racing or Strava efforts or whatever. But it's a definitely a good setup. Um, I would recommend disc brakes for touring. They just work better in all conditions. And also the TCR, oh, this is an excellent bike. It's sort of limited with 25 mil tires, so the Defy or the uh, Diverge or the Specialized Sequoia or that. Other books in my cycling ebook, Do What Does Anybody Buy, we get down the bottom description text. Got a good, good touring bike there, but this is a good setup. I like this setup, and uh, we're here in we're here in Laos today. We're going to ride across the border to Thailand. I just want to show you that's the bike I've got here touring Southeast Asia. The race bike, the Strava bike, the Epic bike, the touring bike, the Do It All TCR.